Hey, 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 everybody, it is Brad. And I'm Krista. With a big baby on side. Yay! Yay! The crowd goes wild. I hope you guys are having an awesome day thus far. Yeah. It is Valentine's Day. It is. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we she, laugh. What? Well, yeah, go ahead. We don't do Valentine's Day. We really don't. <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a funny thing because, like, we kind of feel like if this is the only day you do something nice for your spouse, <laughs> you're probably failing. And we just eliminated half the crowd right Right there. then and there. Right then. We right. alienated just like we need to right off the yes, bat. Yes, yes. So anyway, <sighs> hope you're having an awesome Valentine's yeah. Day. And today, Mama is making something that has made me part of the man I am today, which is her delicious cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Yeah, you guys are going to, you're in for a treat because these, these are our favorite. Um, I actually attempted to make these with wheat bread oh they turned out okay be honest they be were honest. okay they were okay they were not that good okay, they were okay. not as good as these pause button here's here's how this works <laughs> when you have something that is amazing why would you throw a monkey wrench in it to make it healthy healthy there is no such thing as a healthy cinnamon roll time out flag on the play no here's the thing holding no, no, you put it in a holding pattern. <laughs> That's not so, the same thing. I don't care. <laughs> you, you can't use football things when you don't even know what they mean. No, I really don't. I don't She's care. She's copying me. I know. Anyway, well, yeah, and you don't even know football. I know what flag on the play is, and I know what holding is. So do and I. And I know what love is. I... <laughs> so okay. call me for sports crumb. <laughs> so, so I was making wheat bread a couple weeks back, and I had already three low I had two loaves of wheat bread and so I decided to make one into a cinnamon bread and I still had dough left over so I made them into cinnamon rolls and I thought well okay let's give it a shot so they they were, were okay like let's eh. say that um, you've had something <laughs> that is a absolute 10 on the food scale beyond 10 this was a solid five and a half you ate them they're covered so that's... in delicious sugar. What do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> so today she's gonna show you how to make the number ten version, right? Yes. 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 No sugar. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. Oh now, my goodness. Yes. Uh, so here's the deal. We, well, rather, Mama, I've been setting junk up and doing tech stuff, which actually we're going to show you the behind the scenes tomorrow on how we actually get our live stream done. Because um, holy smokes, let me tell you, it's... Not for you. Really? But really, not for me. Okay, truth be told, you take about an hour of setup time. Mine's about four to five. Yeah, you do take longer. And... The because heck is that? because he does all the slides, he does all of Watch the computer the prep tomorrow. work, and blah, you'll blah, see. Blah. Let's get to the. Bacon. All I do is make the bread. Show stuff. me the money rolls. Show me the monkey rolls. Show me the cinnamon rolls. So she's made three different batches, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. No, I've currently only made two batches. Getting ready to make a third batch. So she's going to show you the. To, so if you're baking along, mm -hmm. she's going to show you how to make the dough. Mm -hmm. Then we, she's already made the first rolled out, so mm -hmm. that's got to go into the oven so that you can see the whole process. Should I put them in now? Nah. Make the dough. Go, go nuts. Okay. What do you guys think? Let's make the dough, right? All right. We'll make the dough. All right. So you need and your this, hot water. Ooh, no, like baby. This, this cord is... I'm, I'm te a bit tethered, and I yeah. don't like it. See, here's the thing. We upgraded our audio, and now she's whining about the fact that she's got a wire. She's, got a, she's have, wearing a wire. I have. I'm wearing a wire. She's wire tapping. <laughs> so. I don't like it. I'm attached to the computer. Bring on the cinnamon, Mom. All right, so <laughs> I'm getting some hot water. And tell them what you're doing, because this is an educational. We're making a yeast roll. So we She's have to have hot water between hot? 105 and 110. And if you go too hot, you'll kill the yeast. Not hot enough, and you won't activate the yeast. And you say the rule of thumb is what? Well, for me, with our water, I figured out about how, um, how hot our water is. We don't have our, our hot water heater turned up too terribly hot. So it's about as hot as I can touch. 
So I'm gonna, I've got two cups of water here I'm gonna go ahead and put into our bowl. And for those of you who are wondering, this this actual dough is our artisan. Nope, no, it's the Amish the white Amish bread. Sweet bread recipe. The That's Amish, correct. yeah, the Amish white bread. So now to this, I'm going to add gasp two thirds cup of sugar. Dun dun dun. Now, if those of you who would like to have it healthier, you may use honey. You may use honey. I. This is just the recipe. You use white sugar. So, and I have all, I have changed this recipe quite a bit where um, I'll use honey instead to make it a bit healthier and I'll, I'll combine white and wheat and it is still a really tasty bread. So you're... I'm dissolving the sugar. And I know you guys are probably thinking, what in the world is she doing stirring with uh, the wrong end of the spoon? And I've probably explained this probably 30 times. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. We had three videos. So no, maybe this is the not. fifth. This is the fifth, actually. You plead the fifth is what you do. Yes, I do. So do tell. <laughs> All right. So I <laughs> use. Those who may have not seen the other four. <laughs> you know I have a spoon in my hand, right? Yeah, you Better know. Watch out. I got a mouse in my hand. I can edit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, good. So um, I watched a video on a gentleman who was overseas making bread. Don't remember who it was. It was a foreign bread. It was. It was <laughs> so instead of mixing the bread with this side of the spoon, he mixed the bread with this side of the spoon, and it seemed to really incorporate the bread with the the dough with the the flour and the water really really well. And I started doing that, and it really does. It kind of simulates the dough hook on your KitchenAid. So. So then the question would be, why didn't you just use your KitchenAid? Well, because I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those things, guys, where you're just like, I do this because I saw some dude do it, and he was real smart looking, so that's why I do it. <laughs> now, what are you doing? All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a tablespoon and a half of uh, yeast in here, dry active yeast. Um, I, I've never used cake yeast before. I've always used the dry active yeast, and this particular brand is the Red Star. Um, and I keep this jar in the freezer, this jar here, right here. Oh. You got to let me know if you're going to switch. You were looking at it. <laughs> I know. Um, so I keep this jar in the freezer when I'm not using it. All right. And Daniel, it lasts a long time. Daniel, God is my judge, says no lumps. That's why you use the back end of the stick. Ah, I see. Okay. So I don't know if that's technical term. I think he's. Ha I think he's. Or is he having at I me? I think he's having at you. He's yeah. having at me. No he's having you on. He's having. He's having a go. <laughs> he's, he's having, having a go. go. At you. He's having a sweet go. Yeah. Okay. Well, so the, the joke's on him because I'll get to eat these rolls in about forty-five minutes. <laughs> oh, Daniel. Oh my. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit for just a couple minutes, um, and we're going to watch to see if this yeast will become active, will become alive. Proofing. So, yes, we are proofing it. So you just got to watch to find out if any little bubbles start to show up. And once that is, then you're set. You're ready to rock and roll. Well, you know, one thing that we don't discuss is what if it doesn't bubble up? Because we've always had it. It's, you've said that maybe one time per every three years something doesn't work right. I, you know, the only time I've ever had a problem with yeast, excuse me, is those little individual packages, the in those like single the serving, Fleischmann's. the Fleshmans? Yes, mm -hmm. I've only ever had problems with those, and I haven't bought those for years. I have never had a single problem with the Red Star yeast, and I've been using this stuff for eight years. More than that. No, because we were at the church. Had to be. It's been over ten years since we've been, so it's got to be eight years ago. I started using this stuff. I've never had a problem with it. And they come in vacuum sealed package, packages. You what? The, the, the Red Star comes in big red uh, vacuum sealed packages. And it's, it's cheap. It's cheap. It's, you know, it's a two pound package for $4, maybe four fifty. I haven't bought one in so long because I've had so many. Well, the, go the question is, again, what if it doesn't activate? Well, the good news is this is 
That's not the question. Well, no, I mean, it's you can dump this and start over. That's where we're going. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You've only wasted a little, some sugar and water and yeast. So if it does not activate. If it doesn't activate, you can dump this and start over. Because it's, and start over with a new package or a new container of yeast. Because mm -hmm. that, if that one little bit is, is bad, then the whole package is bad. Right, and that's exactly where I was trying to go with this. Yeah. Because... If you got the little sealed packages, well, if they're in a line, chances are they came from the same run. Well, maybe you had a little hole in the, the little, you know, little square right. or whatever, and you might want to risk, you know, doing another thing. Mm -hmm. But if you've got something in a container like this, chances are it the got left thing. out or something's wrong with it. Right. So you don't want to just keep doing it and keep doing mm -hmm. it. You may need to just go, all right. Just start, start over. Again. This is why we proof it before we add any other ingredients because we want to make sure we're not wasting That's right. expensive ingredients. All right, so, so what is next? Next, Mamacita. we're going to go ahead and add a quarter cup of oil. Now, um, you can use any kind of oil you want. I know I talked to uh, my friend Lisa the other day. She made this bread with lard. Really? And she, yeah, and she mixed, it with, she mixed it with white and wheat. She said it was delicious. I'll bet it is. Because yeah. you know what, the funny thing is, is lard gets a bad rap, mm -hmm. but the best doggone biscuits I've ever had in my life are like mostly lard and a little butter. Yeah. Not like all butter or even all lard, because the lard gives it that flaky <coughs> flavor, mm -hmm. and 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 then the, ba the, really the butter, oh my gosh, but yeah, I bet that would be really good. Mm -hmm. The question I would have for her is, do you have to melt it? Well, you're... I would, Probably. I would, I would melt it because I keep our lard in the refrigerator and um, you're putting a, you if you put the cold lard in to a hot water, it will soften it some, but it won't incorporate right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now to this, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, four cups of flour to start. You'll need between five and six cups of flour. Three. And as you're going, Four. Daniel uh, did uh. clarify that the spoon was turned around for my head as the destination. Well, Daniel, I still come back to at least I get to have the rolls here soon. <laughs> There's that. There's that. I'll <laughs> okay. take a knock for the rolls. All right. Now, before I mix this, I'm going to go ahead and add a half a tablespoon of salt. Um, that's a teaspoon and a half, but I always use a tablespoon. It just makes it easier for measuring and whatnot. And we use the pink Himal Himalayan salt because we just really like the way it tastes. And if you use the white table salt, Keep in mind, it is more salty it, yes, tasting, it is. Mm -hmm. and so you really might want to back off on that ingredient if you're using that white table salt. And you know, I watched an Alton Brown thing on that, and he's he's super, he's wicked smart. He's wicked smart. Wicked, boy's wicked smart. He's wicked smart. So what he said was, is the the Himalayan salt or your sea salt, it's um, it's a uh, not as fine of a grind as say your regular table salt. So you actually put more salt into a tablespoon of table, table salt than you would of sea salt or Himalayan salt. So that's why it's well, more there salty. You go. And as you stir, I will add to our salt yeah. conversation. <laughs> uh, Are you being salty again? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Again? <laughs> not yet. Um, it's funny because we misquoted a couple videos back and somebody called us out and I never really did catch it until after we were reading the comments. What? We said Himalayan sea salt. No, I... There are no oceans in the Himalayans. <laughs> it's Himalayan salt, not sea salt. We, we both said it. Really? Well, I probably said it without thinking. Well, I'm just saying it was really funny. Okay, Himalayan yeah. Well, they, sea there's salt. sea salt, and then there's Himalayan salt. Sorry. We're on that camera now, baby. That okay, one over there. Okay, fine, 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 fine. All right, so I'm just going to mix this, kind of get the stuff off the sides here. And it is supposed to be kind of sticky. It, uh, no, I have to add more flour to it. See, that's why I asked the question. But the reason I add only four cups at first is because I want to really get it in, you know, mixed together and incorporated before I add too much flour. And so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add a little bit more flour at a time because, and I'll tell you why, um... If it is a very dry environment, stop it. If it's a dry environment. Stop it. If no, it's no a, beers allowed. If it's a very dry environment, you will need less flour. 
If it is a very wet or humid environment, you will need more flour. I didn't do nothing. It's the look on your face. I'm waiting for you. I'm, well, I want to know when I got to click to go to the close camera. Okay, so I'm so going to go ahead until you and get add what kind of dough? a soft, non-sticky dough. Like smooth, like smoothie, like kind of smooth dough. You don't know what to do with your hands, do you? No, I was trying Keep to demonstrate. Keep it over there. Keep them over there. I was trying there. to demonstrate. Okay, question <laughs> as you're stirring. Um, uh, Candy Plumber's asking, where do you buy the pink Himalayan salt? That's easy. You can get it on uh, Amazon cheap in uh -huh. bulk. They sell it at a lot of health food stores. Uh -huh. They sell it at big. They even sell it at Walmart. You they, just, you got to look. They do sell it at Walmart. They sell it in a small grinder for $5. So try and find a good place to buy it in bulk because it's expensive. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, for one little small container of salt at Walmart, $4.99 ish. Um, we were able to buy it in bulk for about $3 a pound. Okay. So. Question as we're moving forward. Tressa's stay at home life. Are you using all purpose flour or bread flour? This question comes up a lot. Um, actually, I'm using both at the moment. <laughs> usually. I, usually I use bread flour, but all purpose flour works just fine too. Um, I had had all purpose flour in here before and I added bread flour on top of it. So I'm kind of using a combination of both. We have never it doesn't used matter. cake flour, but that would probably be rock and roll. Cake flour? The... No, cake flour is for cakes. Nice and fluffy. This is, no, this is not a cake. Forget it. Yeah. We make ours straight out of mud and sticks. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively mud and sticks. Right. We're sponsored by the Stick and Mud Coalition. <laughs> Thanks to going out to the Stick and Mud Coalition for sponsoring today's video. Oh my heavens. Okay, so now what I've done is I just sprinkled a little bit more flour on here. And you know what? I need to put this out on the... Can I have that spatula, please? You may have a spatula. See, what I've Do been doing... Do you want doing... it in your hand? Or yes, please. You, you, well, Me... well, I'm just trying to help you. Want, where do you want this spatula, baby? <laughs> you know, okay, we've been married could, for at least... I could quote Christmas Vacation, but I won't. We've been married for at least four years now, and uh, we're finally starting to get to know each other a little bit. Okay. It's really 25. Uh, and it feels like it a is, life sentence. It is a prison sentence. <laughs> it feels like a life sentence. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put this down on this uh, the mat here. Put it on the this thing, honey. pastry mat from what we learned last week. It's we a learned pastry mat. It's a pastry mat. But I like it because it it's makes uh, clean up really easily, Re really easy, not easily. All right. Hey, uh, text girl, is Himalayan salt or sea salt better? Um, the thing is, to be honest, I have seen health benefits for sea salt. I've seen health benefits for Himalayan salt. And I will be honest and tell you that in my study, I'm not convinced one is health-wise better for you. But I know either I've of them. Both of them have are, different minerals and right. They're better than table salt. Yes. Because table salt's been super high heated and yes. just it's dead. Yeah. So is it from the Dead Sea? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Bad uh -huh. joke. Here's a funny little thing. Colleen Perkins says you can get pink Himalayan salt from just about any grocery store that's worth their salt. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Different as stones. you can see, can you go can, to the I bottom I'll, camera? I'll do it, baby. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Yeah, I gotta go Hi, this Bonnie, way. you look so good today. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know what's great is that since it's live, you can't do anything. <laughs> and I'm just going, all right, how far can I get away with this? I got a computer so she can't throw me. me. Well, uh, okay. Hey, it got on you, not the camera. It's getting sucked okay. into the vents here. That's your problem. It's getting vent sucked. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's Can we do yes. this, please? Can we, can we please? <sighs> it's on the close. Here, right there, that camera right there. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I knead the dough. I'm going to go ahead and just fold this in, give it a turn, and fold it over. And keep doing that until you, it's nice and smooth. See how it's all, you know, kind of falling apart? Well, we want to get that nice uh, consistency where it's going to hold together. Before you do that, it kind of looks like a jellyfish that had a really bad day. Got into like a car accident or something. <laughs> Ridiculous. Just, you know, walking around, normal, normal jellyfish day. And all of a sudden it's like, oh no, there's a boat. Oh, too late. This is... 
this is really what you want it to look like. This is getting to this be like where... This like a jellyfish that just got back from the spa. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Go ahead, Mama. Tell them. No. No? No. No? So here we go. That's what you're wanting to go for. It needs to be just a little bit longer. It's not it's not right just yet. An octopus folded inside out. That's what the music <laughs> will says. Yeah, you know, what was that show that we watched for a little bit that was like it got and then it got really weird. It was always weird, but then it got really weird. The fringe. Yeah. Where everything was on the inside out or the upside down. Yeah, it was really strange. And everything was like when when Spock turned bad and he had the little goatee and then he had to fight Kirk. Exactly. You know what like. Yeah. See, she plays like she doesn't know what I'm talking about. The sound all like cool to you guys. But the truth is she's just as nerdy as I am. Yeah, I kind of am. I have to stop her from wearing her Star Trek suit when we're doing this. Close cam. <laughs> so this is what you want the bread to look like. Where it's kind of, it's spongy and it bounces back. Oh, we could use the analogy like, say, a... A triple. A hairless triple. Yes, it is a hairless triple. It's a hairless Here you triple. Go. Wait, it, there. All right. Oh, this All is right. in the way. Uh, or we can just go to the close cam. No, it's go. fine. There we go. Hairless triple. So you're looking for the bounce back. Yep. Yep. If it, if it goes in and stays in, you got too much flour. And this can be fed to the chickens. <laughs> So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in our bowl. <laughs> well, okay, you guys probably don't hear it because we're close mic'd. And um, our children are upstairs, and I think Ruth is playing like she's a, a car. vehicle of some kind going back and forth. So mm -hmm. beep, 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 beep. And just before we started the broadcast, um, we heard our donkey Eeyore yelling. yelling. Yeah. 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 Now I'm gonna go ahead and cover this um, for an hour with a, a warm, wet towel. And so, this is where the instructions will get a little bit funny because you saw step one, making the dough. Right. Now, now you have time, to wait an hour. <laughs> you have to wait an hour, exactly. But because of the miracle of being prepared early in advance. Cha -cha! We probably should, the, yeah, yes. Put those in. Okay, so now what you're gonna see here Oh. This is what they're going to look like after you've waited your hour and then made yeah, them. Go to the close. And then wait it again. So this is after you've rolled them and cut them and put them into a greased pan. And let them rise again. And let them rise again. So these have been rising for about an hour and a half. And they probably could have gone in a half hour ago. Oh, but, but they're going to be beautiful. They're going to go in right now. At what temperature? 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Okay. All right. So 350, 30 minutes. And now she's going to show you how to, to go ahead and roll them out. Is that, is that yeah. what we're going to see? Yep. Okay. Rolling out. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Raw them high. doggies <laughs> rolling. Okay, so let's get a close-up of that. Can you tilt it a little bit so they can see it? See? It's all squishy and And this is after the dough has been sitting for how long? Uh, an hour. Right. Okay. All right. So now i got to clear out my space here. Mm. I can't reach the sink because I'm tethered. So you I gotta have throw like things. Forty feet of cabling. Yeah, I know. You could bungee. It's more you fun. Could, it's more could, fun to throw things. You could bungee <laughs> jump from our roof and still not run out of cabling, honey. Okay. There's snow. I don't want to it, bungee break jump. Your fall. I don't want to bungee jump. No. We were doing it yesterday, jumping off the snow banks. Well, you are weird. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. so. Yeah. So. <laughs> Party on Garth. Exactly. Party on Wayne. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so now I'm gonna go ahead. I have my um, my pastry, pastry mat, mat here, and I'm gonna go ahead and dust it with some flour. Not a ton. I mean, I I've probably got too much on here now, but you don't want it to stick. I need that out of the way. Out of the way? Yeah. No, it's fine. It's okay. fine. It was okay. just the lid. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, artichoke. Okay. Keep her moving. Game on. Game on. Now, okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to need this. Once I put it down here, where's my Are you going to get pin? that first? No? You don't want that first? I need my rolling pin. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and knock, just dump this out onto this floured pastry mat. 
and you don't have to use a pastry mat. I we have a wooden counter, so it's really kind of. I don't want the flour getting and the dough getting caught in the wood and causing problems later. Yeah, it would make pretty much cement down in those little gaps. Yeah. Oh come on. This is where I should have greased the bowl, but chose there not to. Go. While you're doing your thing, I'm going to read a comment. North Star Prepper, Prep Stetter says, One winter when I was a kid, we actually got to slide off the garage roof because the snow met the eaves. Oh, my heavens. That sounds like fun, and I would film that. Actually, I think somebody we know just did that. Uh, a person from church just yes. said they jumped out of their second-story roof. Yeah, yeah. Window. Not, yeah. Right. Anyway, so what are you doing, Mama? So, okay, I ha I just put this out on the on the pastry mat. I am not going to knead it. I am going to just roll it out as big as I can. Um, it will be slightly bigger than this pastry mat, uh, long ways and about this distance, um, width wise. Okay. Question: uh, As you're rolling this out, mm -hmm. can you use rapid rise yeast? I don't know. I've never used rapid dry yeast. We've never used yeast. it. Um, I mean, we have we have active dry yeast. I don't know what's the I don't know what the difference is. I've just always gotten this kind. Sorry, I don't. See, I'll, I'll tell you. As Mama's rolling here, I'll show you the rolling cam. As she's doing that, you got to understand. We we're not, nobody here went to like pastry school, no. or nobody went to you know. I am the baking academy. Look no. at me. I am Chef Boyardee. <laughs> That's me. If you want ravioli, I'm the go-to man. Nice. Not really. No, not at all. The point is, we've we've been doing this for years and just learned tricks, and this is how we do it. Yeah. You know, I mean, from the same stuff everybody else does. You learn a little bit from Alton Brown. You a little bit learn a little bit from here and there. YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. You know, there's you know, I learned a ton from that uh, channel, Food Wishes, and um, so when it comes to every little detail we might not be the ones to be able to answer every nope. little detail we'll try i mean if i know the answer i'll tell you but if i don't know the answer i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna spout off something that i don't have any idea about well, right 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 yeah and um i'm seeing here fab four girls says i believe rapid rise yeast is instant yeast oh well there you go so that's probably a quick google search away all right I rolled this about as thin as I think I'm gonna get it. And it's about consume the whole mat. I, yeah, I did. It's about a quarter of an inch wide. You could try and get it thinner, um, but then I think you're gonna have a hard time getting your uh, toppings on there. You may want to adjust that camera just a little bit, baby. I know you got stuff on your hands, but the the thing is, I know you're gonna there. Go like right there, perfect, because. Um, if I go to this camera, they're not going to be able to see the width of it, but it's honestly a good three feet wide. I'd say three feet, maybe. No. Mm -mm. Then what would you say? Well, this is a 22, 23 inch mat. So, just so it's over just two over feet. just over two feet. Okay. And then probably a foot and a half wide. Well, let's look at our measurements. There you go. So they have an idea of what you're doing. 17 inches. Okay, so there you go. So Little it's about, over. yeah. Yeah. Because they can't see it with the way the camera is angled. Yeah. Just get the full um, picture. Yeah. Okay. All right. So next up. I don't up. need this anymore. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is, again, something not very healthy. I've got some mostly melted butter. It's super soft where I can spread it around really, really easily. Some of it did melt, and it's been sitting out here for a good little bit. So how much of that butter this, is in there? This is one whole stick of butter. I didn't hear that. You just, one, just go for it. This is one whole stick of butter. Okay. And I'm going to just spread this pretty thin throughout this whole piece here. You want it touching as much as you can. I want it touching as much as I can. It probably will not get to all of the edges, but just do your best and get it on as much as you can. Here's a comment that I'm going to I'm going to say because I've always wanted to do this and mama has always pushed back. And Wesley Alexander says, "Have you ever tried putting raisins in with them?" And I'm saying, "That would be awesome." She says no. I hate raisins. So instead, she brings 
twigs and things in from outside and do not okay she brings the rabbit lets the rabbit wander around on the table I, okay i shouldn't say i hate raisins <laughs> i don't mind raisins when they're mixed in with oatmeal cookies <laughs> or when granola you can't really taste them i will never ever eat raisins by themselves i love raisins i i just i can't I'm with you wesley can't do it I'm, i like I'm grapes i like grapes you got any grapes yeah uh, laminated grapes what else? nothing it's from one of the kids shows it's a song. It's a kid's song. Yeah, oh, whatever. Got any grapes? Yeah, I know. It's a ve isn't it Veggie Tales? No. No. Oh, okay. No, it's a silly kid's song. Okay. Isn't it about? Is it a rabbit? I don't know. I don't matter. know. Doesn't okay, matter. so looky there. I got this completely covered. I'm pretty impressed. That stick of butter went far. Steve Gunnick says craisins. Yes, yeah, she. she I puts, love craisins. She puts those things in her salads. And I love those. I think that would be great. What yeah. a what an excellent suggestion because mm -hmm. it's got that tart that mm -hmm. a raisin doesn't have. Right. We should not do that right now, though. No, we're not going to do, do that not right now. Stay on target. <laughs> Loosen up. Stay on target. Okay. Cover me, Porkins. I'm going in. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now what we need is okay i on the recipe it shows brown sugar but i put white sugar and brown sugar on here so i know it's what are you gonna do you're gonna cover the butter yes i'm gonna cover the butter and i use about a third of a cup of white sugar and just kind of a big handful really because i like i've told you guys before i never measure anything well, and this is not a healthy recipe. No, this, this is, is not, a once this, in a while. Yeah, you don't eat like this normally, guys. No. It's a treat. It's Valentine's Day. We right. want the kids to have something nice, and we want you to, to be able to see something nice. And here's the thing, too. As you're, you're going for the brown sugar next. I will in a minute. Go ahead. Okay, I just don't want to. I want to make sure that they can see that. So How did oh, you get you, so dirty? Uh, you did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> anyway, um, if you'll notice, we don't, we don't make stuff out of a box. No. It's one word ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. Granulated sugar is not good for you. I get that. We know that. We're we're reducing it down, but if you try to reduce it out of this recipe, you're gonna mess the recipe up. It won't it won't be cinnamon rolls. It won't be right. Yep. So Oh yeah, Steve Gunnett got it. It's a duck. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand, said to the man, run to the stand, hey. Yeah. That's got any it. grapes? Yeah. That's grapes. right. That's right. Okay. Cool points for Steve. <laughs> All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slather probably a whole cup of brown sugar I on here. I didn't hear that. I, I, I know you that. didn't. I know you didn't. But it's one word ingredients. Mm -hmm. And that makes it somehow better and less calories. Right. Because you didn't hear it? No, it's because you made it with love. Whenever you cook with love, there, it, there's no calories counted for you. That's okay. just how it works. Okay. And I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of uh, grinding it up as I sprinkle it out here so there's no big humongous chunks. There was one time I had, there. I didn't, I used older brown sugar, and it was harder and crunchier, and the, the chunks of brown sugar didn't get soft, and they were kind of weird. Hey, Rain Country Homestead's here. Hey, hey Heidi. She says, just wanted to pop in and say what an excellent interview it, well, that was with Tyler Woods. Well, he happens oh, to be here in the cool. chat now. And I agree, and his book is excellent, by the way. And, um, and, and so, speaking of Tyler Woods, he says... If you, if you have to be healthy, you're not thinking of cinnamon rolls. And I say, I'm sorry, brother. That's right. You No. You, my friend, are absolutely wrong. It's time out. Flag on the plate. Holding. No, you're wrong. Because when you're trying to be healthy, that's the only thing you can think about is all the stuff that you want to eat. <laughs> you obsess over things like yeah. cinnamon rolls. Oh, so my friend, gracious. So, my friend, you may be right in many areas, but you have been stricken down in wrongness today. Oh, my goodness gracious. Still Mr. Rain it. is here, too. Hi oh, there. Oh, cool. Hey, guys. Okay. Now, we're not done yet. we got a couple more things to do. And then we'll be ready to, we'll, to one roll. more thing, and then we'll roll them. So I have some of the the good cinnamon. The sweet cinnamon. The sweet cinnamon. I think it's called the Cylon. C-E-Y-L-O-N, yeah. So, Rain Country would be able to tell you that. Right. So this is a healthier cinnamon. It has a more intense flavor. I got this from a Mennonite store here locally, and I can't remember what the percentage of Whatever, but it is ridiculously good, and I only use this for my cinnamon rolls. So I just take a spoon and just sprinkle this on top. Oh, baby. Don't worry about the big clumps because you'll see in a second. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. What? Stop. That's not cinnamon. You have the cayenne pepper. Oh, shush. I do not. 
<laughs> that would make for an explosive roll. Oh my Tiny gracious! Pepper. No, oh, wow. I would not bake these. Yep. So I know this seems like a, a lot of cinnamon. It is not. But it is not. It, Trust me. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling right now. Oh, it's smell of vision It is ridiculous. Okay. Now, oh, what I'm going to do is to get this cinnamon all over the whole thing, I'm going to rub my hands gently on here and just kind of swirl it all around, kind of mix it in. And baby, when you're done with that, don't don't wipe up. I, I need you to, I, I want to... You know when the kids lick the spoons off and stuff? Gross. <laughs> no. No. So stop. No. So see, I can kind of get it out to the edges, and it's a little bit more uh, incorporated, not all um, cinnamon in one big chunk. And now i got to rinse that off. Woo. Oh, man. Yeah, you don't want to lick the cinnamon, huh? Oh, that stuff is good. You got it mixed with the sugar. It's spicy. Yes, it is spicy. You're spicy. You're spicy. So here, Steve is saying ground ghost peppers. Ooh. You know what? I, I know a lot of people Yuck. say that they love that sweet, hot combo. I'm not a fan. No. Uh, I will, oh wait, time out. The Nashville chicken, that's nice. I've never had it's it. It's like, yeah, you have. You've had it at, well, at that unnamed place that makes chicken that's fried. It's, it's like a sweet and slightly hot on a super crunchy chicken. Oh my gosh, that's good. Yeah. But otherwise, I have a hard time with the hot sweet. So okay. what's next? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this. And what I always tend to do is I roll away from me, and then I can't get to the other end. So I'm going to try and roll towards me this time. <coughs> hey, trucking it up's here. Man, What? gang's all here. How Sweet. you guys doing? All right. So I'm going to just roll this up. I'm not going to, you know, tighten it up. I'm just going to roll it. Loosely. Loosely. Roll on loosely. <laughs> Don't let go. <laughs> Something like that. Jeez, oh, Pete. If you cling too tightly, you're gonna lose your rolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gracious! And as right. you can see, it's kind of sticky. I didn't. There was some flour that got. You know, there was not enough flour in some spots, but it's not too bad. Yep. There's a lot of cinnamon rolls, but this will make. 12 cinnamon rolls. And they're big. Big cinnamon and rolls. And delightful. Let's just say, you know, um, I, I've got, I, I just was glitching out with all the awesome things I can say about these cinnamon rolls. I would have to say that, like, if you, if you have a child that, like, is running and, and falls and scrapes their knee, they will completely forget about their knee when they see these cinnamon rolls. Yeah, no kidding. Not even a question. Oh, that's empty. 18-wheeler roll on, heck yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, trucking it up. Um, trucking it up. He, sa he says, what have the Devo started back? They yes, have, they friend. have. We, for some miracle of God, found internet that works out here. And while she's spraying stuff, <coughs> and you're, well, why don't you give them instruction, and then while you're doing your instruction, I'll talk okay. about what's going on. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in. A, I'm going to eyeball it. It's not going to be exact. I'm going to cut it in half. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. And then I'll do that again. So that way I have even-ish pieces. And then I will cut each section into three so that I have 12 even uh, cinnamon rolls. Okay. So yeah, brother. Um, we did not have usable, streamable internet. I used to have to take our videos every day, drive to the library in town to upload them, and that's how we were doing it. And it was really, really difficult because we, we found all the different plans and the best thing that we could get was worse than satellite, like bad satellite. Well, for whatever reason, a, uh, a friend of the channel said, hey, by the way, I'm gonna cut to the close so you guys can see what she's doing. Um, but um, said, by the way, I heard that you can use the, um, the 4G AT&T device. This thing is it's called a Nighthawk by what's the company oh, i don't know i forgot it's not logitech I, i'll look at it but basically it'd be great for somebody like you that travels a lot mm -hmm. because it's a device that's like this big like as big as a hockey puck and it is your wi-fi router plus your internet you mm -hmm. get a sim card for it and then we happen to be lucky enough to get an unlimited plan uh, for it and basically 
we have been having no issue. I mean, we're streaming live right now. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Last month, we used almost 700 gigabytes of data because we're like, yeah. well, let's test it. Right. We're going to use. Right. This, and so was. for those of you who've been wanting to, we do a daily Bible devotion. We used to. We did it a year and a half ago, and we had to stop because we couldn't do it. Right. Well, with this device, we're like, we tested it for a month, and it worked. And so on Monday, we started doing the, the Bible devos mm -hmm. again, and it's 8.30 a.m. Central. Central. Mm -hmm. And so I just basically, it's a short thing, less than a half hour, usually like 20 minutes. We read some scripture, kind of break it out a little bit, try to be encouraging, yep. uh, and we pray for each other. Yep. And then that's it. So that if you're interested in that, you got to go subscribe to a different channel. It's called Big Family Devotions because we keep them separate because we don't want to cross the streams. Anyway, <laughs> there's that. Big Family <laughs> Devotions. And yes, we're going. And right. it, it, Yeah. So, okay. Show the close. Here we go, Mom. This is what it looks like. So these are big now, but they will get bigger. They will f consume this whole pan. You guys are correct. Netgear, Honeybee, yeah. and Mike DeFazio. You are yeah. right. Thank you for that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put these in a warm area. I won't cover them um, because I don't want um, the cinnamon and sugar to get wet. So I'm going to just set these over here. Hey, Kimmy's here. Hey, Kimmy. Cinnamon roll city. I learned something new from Kimmy the other day. Did I tell you? The squirrel thing. Oh, no. The squirrel thing was hysterical. Yeah. I about rolled on the floor laughing. She was cleaning in the middle of the night. Nighttime she was. Cleaning, like she her, was nighttime cleaning. She, you don't know, but she's really a vampire. No. Yeah. No. It's true. No, you but, watch she, the videos. but she was saying, and I didn't realize this, but if you put wool balls in the dryer when you're drying your clothes, it shortens the drying time. And if you over dry your clothes, that's where you get the static. So I tried it and it works. What does that got to do with squirrels? I don't know. Well, here, since she's here we'll give an explosion just because just because cool. it's for kimmy for kimmy it's just for kimmy that one's for you sister okay All right, so now, now what we have to make the frosting Ooh. the frosting Ooh. so <laughs> to make these super unhealthy cinnamon rolls even unhealthier <laughs> here we go well look at me i'm not i'm not built for speed people i'm built for comfort <laughs> i'm not gonna win any races and you know the good news is that here in in wisconsin Let's just say that butter's a food group, <laughs> along with beer and things cheese. like bratwurst. And cheese. So if the zombie apocalypse is really happy, I don't have to really escape them as much as I just need to escape, you know, somebody else who's a little, little bit slower. That's all. So now what are you doing, Mom? Mo butter? Mo butter, Mo, baby? Mo buddy, baby. Mo, Mo butter. butter. Okay. Uh, yeah, more butter. Okay. That's what we need. So, this recipe has four pounds of... No, it does not. It does not have four... Well... No, do it. Give us even the... <clears throat> don't go there. No, I'm it's not going to... You can get it in our cookbook. Yeah. <laughs> There's a link down below. Okay, so I am going to make frosting for all of these cinnamon rolls that we're making. So I'm doubling the recipe um, for our cinnamon rolls. Now, for one batch, you're going to need two cups of powdered sugar a half a stick of butter, mostly melted, and a quarter cup of milk, and oh, my essential oils. You forgot Do you the have essential, essential oils? oils? Wild orange essential oil. If you like lemon better, do lemon, but we really like the orange. You know what would be good too? And I know you don't like it as much as I, well, you don't like it pretty much <laughs> what? at all. Almond. I love no, almond as a I'm flavor. A For fan. whatever reason, almond gives me that kind of orangey vibe but it's still got that nutty thing going on and i don't want to sound like the food network where when they don't really know how to describe something they just say that it's nutty you are nutty it's like, you know what's funny is like they'll taste something new and everybody used to just be like yeah look just like chicken it's nutty really is the nutty. new chicken right um i need one of the children to get me the beaters and they're in the pantry will i reach the will i reach the pat the pantry you will. I'll okay. hold this so you don't pull your microphone okay. out. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to hold the thing. And if it starts going crazy, I'll be like, this is where we're playing like Jaws right now. Mama's mama's like the shark. She's going <laughs> for the thing. Oop, our tether's getting tighter. I got it. We're good. She's got it. <laughs> I gave her like 40 feet of tether. I forgot. I needed the hand mixer. And you know what's funny is you're just as loud in there as you are here. Oh, okay. So I guess I don't need to yell. Yeah, don't yell. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, gonna you put can, down. You the... can put me down now. Put me down. 
You've seen better days. Trust okay. me, it's better for everyone. Okay, so we need... Happy uh, Valentine's Day. We need two cups of, of powdered sugar, but I'm going to use four because I'm doubling the recipe because we have... Jeez, is there four in there? A ton. Uh, probably. So one, two, three. Stop it. Three, two. <laughs> Here's the fourth one. That is Four. the worst. Uh, 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 that uh, is the worst. You are the worst. You are the worst. No. Okay. That out of the way. Now, I'm going to whisk this to get the chunks of powdered sugar that have been sitting there. Uh, Mr. Rain. He's, I think he's pretty much advocating that we're going to start shipping these cinnamon rolls out in, uh, in shipping uh, 3,036 cinnamon rolls. Okay, well then, you know... It's going to break the bank. I'm not doing that. This is not a problem because he's actually going to be doing the deliveries. Ah. So when you get here, we'll be happy to supply you with all the cinnamon rolls you he's want. He's in Washington. I know where he is. <laughs> all right. So for this recipe, you need two cups of powdered sugar, a half a stick of butter, and a quarter cup of milk. But I've got full half st a full stick and a half a cup of milk. Because I'm doubling the recipe. What? Oh, my gracious. We'll have this done before that's done. You think? Well, no, it will be done. There's only seven minutes left. Yep. And our milk. And I'm going to go ahead from and plug our cow in. Macy. You, you don't actually it. have milk from our cow, Macy. Any milk will do. I yes. do not recommend, say, dog's milk. That's got kind of a bitter flavor. How would oh. you know? Well, you can buy these things at the Asian market. Gross. Anyway. Live without you. Or live with you. Can't live without you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Rain. Oh, he, oh, he caught it. Back yeah. fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Now I'm just going to mix this just till it's well combined and uh, smooth. You don't want a lot of clumps. Is there a way to turn the bowl without making it fling everywhere? No. Well, then make it fling everywhere, baby. Woo! Look at that. Tyler, fresh sweet milk is the best. Yes, yes. You know, that growing, just up, growing right. up in Florida, fresh sweet orange juice is the best. It really is. So now what are you doing there, sassy? <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna put about 30 drops of this wild orange. Um, for each recipe, you really only need 10 to 15, depending on how orange you like it. We like it pretty orange. I do. And you know what, that big chain that sells cinnamon rolls, they don't do this step, and this step honestly is a huge separator. Whether you're gonna, if you want the almond flavor or the lemon flavor, or heck, whatever you wanna do, they have essential oils for that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We do have a link down below, but the orange adds so much with the cinnamon. Yeah. There, do I have that right? Mm-hmm. It smells right. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Well, you wouldn't what say could it you tastes do bad. I mean, it's, what is it, butter, milk, and sugar? and Yeah. What what could be bad about that? So here, show the... Tilt it to them, baby, tilt it. Yeah. See how smooth that is? And it's not a thick, it's not a thick icing. It's just a nice, um, uh, you just need a, a scoop of it on top of there just to add some really yummy flavor to it. Give me work for that cinnamon roll store that will remain unnamed. Oh, did she now? Back in the day, Yum. when you worked at the mall, she worked at this Christian bookstore in the mm -hmm. mall. Mm -hmm. They still had Orange Julius. Oh my gosh, that was so yummy. Yeah. That shows my age. Orange Julius. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was the other the store that I liked? Oh, it was... Um, Sabaro. Sabaro. Mm -hmm. I know it's like just a chain pizza store, but you can't get New York style pizza anywhere outside of New York. No. And that's a close... And that's close enough. It's close. Yeah. Sabaro. Okay. So now we have... Four minutes and 18 seconds left on our... All right, so here's a question. Um, and you guys got to type fast since we've only got four minutes. Who's got a question for Kimmy at She's in Her Apron? Go ahead and type out her question and you can just like put Kimmy or Apron and then, you know, ask your question while she's still hanging out. I would, my question would be, do you like living where you live? Because I don't know if you tell people where they live, I can't remember. 
I think you do. Yeah, I thought so. But it seems like there'd be a lot of really super nice people there. Oh, I would imagine. Our Thrive Life, we do, you guys know we do the Thrive Life mm-hmm. freeze dried food. She's real close to that. Yeah. Oh, crap. I might have just, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I think she has said, I think she's but... mentioned it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes and no. All right. Mr. Ray, type fast. <laughs> Now we got T minus three minutes. Now give me enough time. We to gotta clean show the them flour. how it's ri- risen so far. What? But for the most part, yes. Because that that the other batch would still need a good half hour yes. of additional rise time. Yes. Them. Okay. Okay. And there's actually what you can do with these as well. So you can cover them with plastic right after you cut them and put them in the pan and put them in the refrigerator. I bet you could freeze them. You could freeze them, mm-hmm. but I've put them in the refrigerator. Like, I'll make some the night before, and I'll put them in the refrigerator, and then in the morning, oh. I'll take it out and sit it on the stove while the oven's heating up, and then I throw it in the oven, and it's perfect. Yeah. And they you know, rise just enough. And you they know. get a different kind of flavor. It's almost a little bit yeasty, not mm-hmm. not like, nothing like, a, like the artisan bread, but right. it is definitely, that's something extra. Right. So it's really nice because if you're just messing around after dinner and you want to, you know, put something in the fridge for a special breakfast, mm-hmm. really nice. I know what we're making next week. What are we making next week? We're making those sausage, egg, and um, cheese biscuits. Oh. We're making those next week. What if people eat kosher? Then they can use turkey. Chicken, egg, and cheese biscuits. Right. Why not? Hey, what they the have turkey sausage. So. Okay. We still have Paige. She's a love bug, but she uh, but training was she's oh, testing the water. Oh, her new puppy. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can't get rid of my team. <laughs> Trade you. Okay. Yeah. Some can be trained easier than others. Let's just say. Yeah. Our firefighter is testing those boundaries. Urgh. Yeah. I Kid. Love yeah. Exactly. Kid kills me. I wouldn't last long enough here to put in the freezer. Well, today we're making three batches, so come on over. <laughs> we'll send you home with some. Yeah. Yeah, Tyler Woods, the problem with cinnamon rolls is they evaporate before anyone gets any. That is true. Mimi's homemade says make some kolaches. We've heard of those. Kolaches. I don't... I've never heard of kolaches. Is it? Is oh, I don't want to... It's not a pierogi, I don't think. It's no. not like that. Pierogies are really good. Anyway, so I don't know what a kolache is. It seems like I should know, but I don't. Yeah. So, 50 seconds. Yay. T minus 50 seconds. Brad, they still have an Orange Julius at Countryside Mall in Clearwater, oh, wow. Florida. We used to be in Florida. That's, That's funny. We grew up uh, in our early teen, uh-huh. early 20s in Bradenton and yep. then Palmetto and then North Tampa. Yeah, I worked in DeSoto Square Mall. Which and is now straight up a ghetto. Yeah, that's pretty sad, actually. It is not. It's all run down. Yeah. It's bad. That was right after I graduated high school. Yeah. And uh, that was eons ago. <laughs> I will say, though, the best Chinese food I ever ate was right across from there. Panda Gardens. Oh, on 14th Street. Oh, my gosh. Their egg rolls. Like, probably still I there. I think they, like, triple fry them. Oh I don't even goodness. know what they do, but they are ridiculously good. I don't good. know. Their, their food there is... Bar none, the best I've ever had anywhere. And we have tried lots Everywhere. of places. <laughs> it's done. You know how Pavlov's dog experiment, when the bell rang, he started drooling? Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, okay. my heavens. Fred Schwarzkopf says, it's like a pig in a blanket. <clears throat> oh, my gracious. Would you look at that? <clears throat> oh, Wow. Yeah, these are, you know, a meal in themselves. Oops, wrong way. It's like a country. A country unto themselves. <laughs> All right. Now, trick is getting them out. Uh, I need another cooling rack. Yeah, we are going to need a... Uh, mm-hmm. What do you want to do, baby? I got another one right here. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I want a... Uh, I want a... Uh, I want a Shasta. A Shasta? That's not how that ended. No, I didn't think so. Kalachi is a pig in a blanket only with sausage. Huh. All right. Well, who knew? Yum. He did. He knew. There you go. Krista, make Gosh. Madeline cookies. Never heard of those either. All right. How are you going to do that? You got to let them cool. I need, I need a spatula. Another one? Another one? I do you don't, need to I wait? I don't have to watch these. 
I don't have to wash these. Yeah, that's true. I can use as many dishes as I want. <laughs> you know, the rule at our house is we cook it, you clean it. That is true. So it's, you know, we're all working together. All right. How all are you right. Do this? They look pretty voluminous. Yeah. I'm just going to start here in the corner. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, I can see a little bit. I'm going to go back okay. to the big camera. You're just going to pull one out, or what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to start with one. That one cornered on. That looks good. Because I think it's going <laughs> to. You're squishing it. Fall apart. Oh, I need no. a. There, this will work. Oh no! My inner chubby guy is is screaming. It's like when you see that person running for the the hurdles and they keep making it, and, and then they trip, and you're like, oh no, 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 that you're going to make it. All right, look at this. It's all, all right. the gooey stuff. Oh, go to the close cam. Oh my great! That's oh, like monkey stuff. bread right there. Yeah, I mean, and I've made monkey bread with these, where you just you just cut up little pieces of the dough and then you mix it with the cinnamon and sugar and you just plop it into the loaf pan. I've done that before, so. My we, Atlanta. We need a plate. Ooh, let's we need get a fork this straight too. up. Oh, that doesn't. That's not a pretty looking one. That's the upside down part. Uh oh, something's gone wrong. That's the part. There we go. See, you oh, had it. There, you baby. had it upside down. Well, I showed him the monkey bread. Well, you showed him the monkey bread part. Well, now I'm going to show him the monkey. All right. You are a monkey. Right here. Yeah. Okay. All right. We need forks. Yeah, I got to eat the messed up ones. You know what they say, you know, a chef's chef got to eat his mistakes. mistakes. So. <laughs> but you're not the chef. I'm right. the chef. Well, I'm, I'm the captain. Okay. I'm the captain. I drive right. the boat here. So now what I like to do with this frosting or this icing is just kind of drizzle it oh, you over the get top. Oh, you got to this in the camera, baby. Hold on. Let's push this out of the way. No, no, no. Do it's it, going to... Do it. And it's going to... Stop it. I'm trying to help. It's like a buffet. You're going to wear it in a second. <laughs> so just drizzle some on there. You don't need a ton. Oh, my. Yeah, that's, that's, that's looking good. That's enough. <laughs> it's enough for me. All right. Spin it and show them. Turn it, turn it, good side. There we go. Would you look at that? Oh, my Lanta. And see how it kind of goes inside? Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say it, but this live broadcast is over because <laughs> I've got work to do. He's got to devour the cinnamon roll. <laughs> I bet I could eat probably a quarter of that pan. No, you could not. That's true. I you know. barely eat one, and oh, I'm so full. But fresh milk with it. Oh, I know. See, that's the problem. You got to have milk with it. Yeah. Not, why is that a problem? That's not a problem. So it's a good thing. <laughs> Kim says you know my address. Yes, I do. All right. But I know you know how to cook. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> she knows what's what. That's right. She knows what's what. What what? All right. So um, I do think that's it. Yeah. That really is it. So yeah. you want to show them. Well, these are not quite done yet. They're they not. Still got another, they still got another probably half minutes. hour to go. Um, but there yeah, go. I mean, you could put them in now. It doesn't matter. They just wouldn't but, rise as much as this, but yeah. you know. Well, like I said before, these rows probably a little too long. These rows for over an hour and a half. Yeah. So the other ones have been about 45 minutes. So, All right. Yeah. Well, kids, that is it. Uh, hope you had a good time. Hope yeah. you have a great Valentine's Day. And uh, you know what? Don't let today be the only day you tell your loved ones that you love them. Right. Because fail. <laughs> you got to well, do it more often, people. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So every day is important. very important. It is important. Mm -hmm. So with that, I am Brad. I'm Krista. And you guys have an amazing and hopefully sweet-filled day. Saucy day. <laughs> Bye. Bye.